Okay, in this video and probably the few that come after, I want to talk about moon phases. Moon phases, okay. So I think you know what I mean when I say the word moon phases. Is this the kind of thing where when you look at the moon, depending on the time of the month it is, you can see all different proportions of the moon. So sometimes you just barely see a sliver of the moon. Other times you see the full moon, which usually grabs people's attention because it's nice and big and bright. And other times maybe you'll see about half the moon and so on. And so what happens here is these are the phases of the moon here. And I guess the word phrase, the phase that we'll say here is when we see different amounts of the moon. When we see different amounts of the moon. And one thing I'll just point out, a recurring theme, is that notice that when we look at this, the moon that we see, we all see the same side of it. We know that because the moon is tightly locked. And furthermore, this is sort of what takes this entire sequence here as you go over and back and over and back and over and back and over and back. This is what takes one month. So this is what happens as a moon goes in its orbit around the Earth taking one month. We see these different phases. Okay. So the question is, you know, what are these phases and why do they occur? That's what we're trying, trying to get after here. This is supposed to be a question mark. Huh. What are the, fa what are the phases and how do they occur? Well, the first thing to get across here is the moon phases, sort of the mist that, you know, you hear and read about from time to time. They're not shadows of the Earth at all. It isn't like a shadow of the Earth is being cast on the moon. They're not clouds. They're not clouds on the moon. Like the moon isn't blocked by clouds on Earth. They're not clouds on the moon. It's not a dragon eating the moon, anything like that. This is just all a bunch of nonsense right here. This just isn't true. This is just not what phases are. So you can just forget about it. Is that enough crossing out? Yeah, okay. So what the real answer then is, is it's actually nothing more than a simple geometry of the sun, the earth, and the moon, and how they're sort of oriented in space at a particular time. Okay, and so I will show you how that works in the next video clip. Okay, hi students. So we're back with our solar system model here. And what I wanted to tell you a little bit here is why we see moon phases using this sort of geometry again. So once again, I have the earth here, and I have the moon over here, and there's the bright sun. And so phases are just a geometrical effect that have to do with the position of the earth and the moon and the sun at any particular time. And it sort of works like this. So of course, you know, the moon orbits around the earth like this and indeed it will. So let me just sort of place the moon in a position that's probably most obvious to you about what's going to happen. So if you look very carefully at the ball, I need to actually, you to actually look at the shadows that are being cast on the moon by my sun, something like that. Let me move it about so it makes it a little more apparent. There we go. If you look at the shadow, you can see that if you were on the earth here, you're looking at the dark side of the moon. And I hesitate to say the word dark side because remember there is no dark side but the side that happens to be dark on the moon at the moment because all the sun is over here. And you can see this nice sort of terminator in here. So there's where the moon would be lit. It's dark over here. So if you're on the moon looking at the on the earth here looking at the moon, you wouldn't see the moon because it's too dark. There's no light illuminating this side of the moon so it'd be dark. And that of course is our new moon phase where you look up and you don't see. You can't see the moon because there's no light on it. So what will happen of course is the moon can rotate a little bit in its orbit. So let me just put it over here, right about here, I guess. Okay, and once again, I need you to pay very careful attention to those shadows. And I have my Mary on there. Let me rotate those out of the way so you can just focus on the whiteness a little bit. So what would you see now? Again, all I've done is move the moon from about here to here in its orbit, which of course it does. So if you were on the Earth here looking up at the moon, what would you see now? Well, you would look up at the moon there, and you need to look at the shadow to get this point across here is you're definitely going to see some darkness here, as you can see right there. It's definitely some is dark, but you're also going to see a great deal of the lit moon surface too. And so this is going to be a phase where you sort of see both aspects of the moon, both the side that is not lit because there's no light reaching it that can't reflect off in your eyes, and you see a portion that's lit. So if you look at the moon, you'll just see a part of the moon, and the only part you'll see is the part that's lit. So you have that. That's definitely going to drive a phase of the moon. And suppose, once again, that then the moon, when it was in its orbit, and say it moved right over to there. This is a particular phase that if you look up at the moon now, so here's the Earth, and say you were on this side of the Earth trying to look up at the moon, what you would see is half of the moon would be dark over here. You can see that shadow part, and half would be lit over here. 
So if you looked up at the moon, you would see a grand total of half of the moon. You wouldn't see the whole moon because this part is still dark and that part is still light there. And so that sort of drives that phase. So you see that in this model over here, you'd see more of the moon mit lit than dark. And over here, the lit dark roughly becomes half-half. And as it keeps moving around its orbit, say it went all the way over to here, put the camera on there for it, all the way over to here, you're going to see now all it's doing is moving around in its orbit here, but as you reach to this point over here, if you look up now, if you stay on the Earth right here looking at the moon, you're going to see a great deal of the moon's surface all lit up here. This might very well be very close to a full moon even because so much of it is lit right here, and the darkness is only a very little sliver in the back right there. So you'll see mostly the moon lit, but a little bit of darkness. So you might just see the whole moon with a little bitty bite taken out of it, which is still the dark part, which you can't see. And then, of course, as it keeps moving, we'd hit this situation over here, which may be an eclipse, but remember the moon has this funny orbit that's inclined. So if I actually lift the moon up like this, say the incline has a little bit higher than it normally would be, then you can see once again that a great deal of it's lit. So if you're sitting here on Earth and look up, you see the moon, you'd probably see the whole full moon lit. You'd say that's a full moon because the darkness is only on the back right there. So anyway, I just wanted to run this video here to show you that there's nothing very mysterious about phases or magical going on. It just happens to be sort of a function of the geometry between the moon and the Earth and the different lighting stages that the moon goes through as it sort of goes through its orbit. So hopefully you can visualize phases in that way. Nothing very mysterious or magical about them at all. Just purely a geometry and lighting effect.